yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that late start. Aquarius, thank you for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for December the 31st to January the 6th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to, only if you would like to. I've got a bit of a croaky voice because I'm doing all of these readings, but I'm going to try and I'm fine. I don't have a cold or anything. I'm going to try and do this as quickly and as efficiently as I can for you and get this out for you as soon as I can. The first card you have for your past is the Six of Cups. So yeah, this is the card of nostalgia, reunions, getting together again, family, children, all of that kind of thing. I think you were spending time around family at this time. And yeah, that obviously makes sense at this time of year. A lot of people are spending time around their family. And I think you've had a lot of problems around family, uh, especially in this past year, all throughout this past year, all throughout 2018, you've had a lot of problems around your family, especially one person in your family. Um, I'm seeing one specific family member who I think caused a lot of problems. I think uh, someone could have been in and out of the family a lot, kind of hot and cold around other family members, getting angry, walking off and then coming back again and then kind of being around everyone again and then getting angry again and going off again, that kind of thing. Now I think, I'm just getting the sense, I, I think this person might have been in your last reading actually because I'm, I'm just remembering this again so obviously you're still having whatever problem with this person that you had last week with the same person so I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but yeah, I think uh, this person was not uh, around the family at this time when you're around your family. So they weren't there. They'd probably gone off in a bad temper on a previous occasion or something and they weren't there. So that was uh, probably a relief for you actually and it was probably a relief for a lot of other people around uh, you at that time as well. Um, because this is a beautiful, very happy card. but. Again, when you look at this card, um, if you look at the left hand side of this card, you might not be able to see it on camera because it's very small. But on the left hand side of this card, there's a tiny man and he's walking away from this scene. So there's a kind of a child family situation there. They're happy, they're nice, they're greeting each other. And this man is walking away from it. So uh, I think they'd walked away on a previous occasion and this was a happy time for you because this person was not around. And I think there were probably a lot of misunderstandings between this person and everyone else in the family, I think, probably at different times. And maybe sometimes there were groups that this person was upset with. And I think they felt very hard done by quite a lot and very misunderstood by um, the other people in this family. Um, but they had hurt a lot of people in the family and they were feeling hurt as well. So there's a lot of kind of misunderstandings, a lot of problems. But I think the common denominator is this person. So um, I think there is actually some hope that uh, people around this might reconcile at some time. Uh, this card can also be the card of reconciliation, so it can definitely happen. But I think at this time, uh, they might have just not been around for whatever reason. So things were a lot more peaceful around family than they had been in a long time. So I don't think anyone was thinking about, this person was on their mind, but I don't think anyone was thinking about reconciling at that time. I think everyone might have been just enjoying the peace actually while they could. Uh, so the next card you have for your past is the tower. So yeah, there was a moment when um, this relative or whoever this was, I'm still seeing family. So yeah, this was family. Uh, there was a time when uh, they just really crossed a line with you. And again, I'm seeing there was this kind of backwards and forwards thing going on with them. Uh, they'd come into the family and then there'd be a big argument and they'd leave again and then they'd come back again. So there's this kind of backwards forwards thing going on. And every time they came back, or connected again, there could have been a part of you that kind of, there were part of you that was happy, obviously, you wanted some kind of reconciliation, but then there was also a feeling of um, the calm before the storm kind of thing. It was like, you're always on alert, waiting for the next blow up or the next storm with them. And so you never quite enjoyed even the time when everything was calm with them, because you're always kind of waiting for this big thing to blow up and this big problem to happen. 
But yeah, something they said or they did sent things over the edge for you in this tower moment. And I don't think things have been the same ever since. And, um, you know, as I was seeing in the Six of Cups, again, a reconciliation is possible, definitely. But I'm getting the feeling that at this time you're just exhausted by all of this. Physically, even, uh, you might have just wanted a complete rest from all of this thing and this person and everything. And I think this more peaceful time that you had when you spent um, this time with these other family members, I think this time made you realize how much you needed this peace in your life. And I don't think you realized that until now. So this was teaching you something about yourself as well. And this is probably going to be um, an ongoing situation heading into 2019. But at least at this time you had uh, some peace back in your life for a while. That's what I'm seeing now. So the last card you have for your past is the Nine of Pentacles. So yes, if you look at the woman in this card, she's, um, she's content, she's by herself, uh, she's at peace, she's in her beautiful garden, and you know, she's happy by herself, she's smiling, she has peace. Now, don't, I don't exactly think you were smiling, I think you're still thinking about this person, but you're at peace, you are definitely at peace. And uh, you were probably, you probably weren't standing up like this woman either. You're probably lying down asleep, exhausted somewhere. But um, I think this whole tower episode was showing you that you really just needed to set up some boundaries. You really, uh, you, you know, you did care about this person I'm seeing deep down. Uh, they hurt you and uh, they probably hurt a lot of other people in the family as well. But, you know, even though you cared about them and you probably still do care about them, I think you were realizing that you just needed to protect yourself from them. You just needed to kind of um, be a lot more self-preserving all through uh, 2019. You're going to put some kind of barrier up so that you're going to be able to protect that peace for yourself. So the first card you have for your present is the Empress. Um, so yeah, you're still protecting yourself at this time. You're taking care of yourself. You're nurturing yourself from behind this kind of uh, protective shield that you'd built up for yourself. I'm seeing you just spending time um, inside your home, just being yourself. Uh, that might sound a bit boring to some people, but you needed this. You need this time. You need to do this. You need this time to yourself. I think this person probably in your past kept on coming backwards and forwards to you as opposed to some of the other members of your family because you are a kind person you are a caring person and there might have been times where you even tried not to care but you couldn't help it that's just who you were so uh, you might not have shown it at the time especially when they were being at their worst uh, this care for them, but you felt this care for them. But you're not a doormat, even though you feel this care for people, you're not a doormat. You're not prepared to just forgive anything. And uh, again, this break from this person, whether this is going to end up being a permanent break or not, this is something that you need. You need it mentally, you need it physically, and you need this emotionally, and you know this. So the next card you have for your present is the Page of Pentacles. I'm actually seeing a message in this card. Um, yeah, I hope this is going to make sense to you, but I'm seeing you wanting a message from someone or wanting to hear from someone. It's not this difficult person, this is someone else. Uh, and I'm getting a lot of backwards and forwards kind of energy, but this is inside your mind. Maybe you were thinking, should I contact them? Uh, maybe I should. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I will, maybe I won't, that kind of thing. So uh, that's the kind of thing I'm picking up around this. And um, you might have been feeling like this for a long, long time, worrying about this, thinking about this, wondering if they were going to contact you. Um, and you might have been trying to keep this situation out of your mind, but it just kept on coming back in. You couldn't do that. So I'm not actually seeing a falling out between you and this person that you're wondering about uh, or anything like that. Um, it's a bit strange, actually. I'm not sure why you're not in contact with them because I'm not seeing any problems. But um, yeah, don't be angry. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. Uh, I think you'll probably be the person who's going to contact them. Uh, you're going to be breaking down and contacting them. I'm seeing it's going to be you. Uh, so if this is all resonating with you, uh, that's what I'm seeing happening. And they'll be happy to hear from you. I'm not seeing them having any problems with you or anything like that. 
but yes, there might be, uh, you might come up with a reason in your mind uh, convincing you to uh, finally contact them. Uh, it might be around a special date, it might be their birthday, or maybe you're going to be texting them to say Happy New Year or something like that. And there's not going to be any, uh, there's not going to be any stress or any kind of angst or anxiety around this um, when you do finally contact them. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not going to be as big and as scary as you were imagining originally. I think it's just going to feel quite calm for both of you. So I'm not seeing any great big huge romance, drama, whatever, uh, anything like that. It's just going to be fine. They'll just hear from you, fine, and you'll talk, and then you'll pick up the conversation again, and you'll be talking again. It's going to be fine. So the last card you have for your present is the Queen of Cups. Now again, I'm seeing this compassionate, loving, caring energy, this beautiful side that you have. You've created a barrier between you and this difficult person in the Six of Cups, I'm seeing that. But maybe try to do similar or the same around other people in your life as well, if you can. Not everyone, obviously, but I am seeing you feeling as if uh, you need to be the one to always reach out first, to help people, to be generous with your time, giving to people, helping people. Now, of course, this is a really, really beautiful way to be. Don't change your nature. Don't change yourself. But, you know, because I was seeing you feeling very exhausted in the Nine of Pentacles, uh, and you, there's no use to you feeling like that. You don't want to feel like that. So try to scale back on the help that you give to other people. Make sure that everyone who you're helping or giving to really deserves that help. Some people do, um, but some people don't. And there just needs to be some kind of give and take between you and some other people. Not give and give, give and take. So if this is resonating with you, uh, just be careful that other people aren't always seeing you in the role of a giver and seeing everyone else in the role of a taker. Again, you're not a doormat, you're a strong person. So you're just going to have to try and use that barrier you put up in the Nine of Pentacles to um, put that uh, kind of... Um, well, barrier up around yourself uh, between you and other people as well. So the first card you have for your future is the Five of Swords. So yes, again, look at this. Someone around you might even be quite greedy and just they might just be expecting things from you. Um, yeah, it's one thing to uh, be grateful uh, for someone's help, but it's another thing to just expect it. Just say, oh, well, they'll, they'll always do this, they'll always do that, they'll always do this for me, they'll always give me lifts, they'll always buy me things, they'll always uh, make me food, they'll always take me out to dinner and pay for it. All of that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, if this is resonating to you again, uh, same thing. Either walk away, like the men on this card, walking away from this greedy man who's taking everyone else's swords, or at least... Pick and choose carefully when you're giving, when you're helping, who you're giving to, who you are helping. I'm also seeing in this card that there might be uh, some talk. I'm not seeing gossip, but I'm seeing negative kind of talk. And it might be coming from this difficult person, this uh, difficult family member uh, in the Six of Cups. Now, I think this might be something that uh, isn't true that they're saying. And it's something that you or someone else might see maybe on social media or something like that. Now, I think this is probably their way of trying to just get people's attention, really. They do have a lot of problems and you do care for them. I keep on seeing that. But I think maybe you're just going to try to ignore whatever this is, because I think uh, for several reasons, I think it's probably going to be a bit too soon for you to connect with them at all. There's just too, it's just too raw, it's just too close to this um, tower moment, I think. And also you don't want to reward this uh, kind of behavior with attention, any kind of attention, because I think that's what they want, they want attention. And also you just don't want to put yourself, you've got these barriers up again, so you don't want to put yourself in a position where 
you feel emotional and upset and angry and all those things again you're just trying to kind of shelter yourself from that as well so you're perfectly right to ignore this you are absolutely right you're right to keep on being self-preserving and especially again as uh, this is so close to what happened in the tower that's what I'm seeing so yeah the next card you have for your future is the world so I think this person who you probably contacted in the page of pentacles I think they're still going to be in your life and I think this might be a love connection or uh, not now or I think I think it was once it's it's a bit confusing because I think there was um, some kind of romantic history between you I'm not sure if this was an actual uh, relationship. The lines might have been blurred a bit between friendship and uh, love or something like that. But you are going to keep on seeing them. You're going to keep in contact with them. I think they'll probably still be a big part of your life in some way. But you're going to feel quite um, quite peaceful around this. It's, it's like you're not going to be preoccupied. You're not going to be thinking, where, when are they calling? What's happening? I think this is going to just turn into a relationship. I think you're going to be quite comfortable with that and that's going to round off really nicely for everyone for both of you because I think you know if this card the meaning of this card sometimes can be um, completion things coming to a completion sort of resolving themselves and I think you're going to end up being just very calm very fine about this free from the stress free from worrying about this and so this is going to be a, a relationship in your life that you're going to want to keep there you might have had a romantic history with this person but i think you're just going to turn into a friend and it's going to be very nice and very relaxed that's what i'm seeing so the last card you have in your future is the seven of pentacles so i think this card might be a message to you to just keep on keep those barriers up spend some time by yourself keep on being by yourself taking care of yourself like in the nine of pentacles like in the empress nurture yourself keep the barriers around yourself keep this happening with yourself don't see this person uh, in the six of cups until you're absolutely ready to spend that time nurturing yourself and building up yourself just like this man has grown this plant that's next to him he's built it up next to him and it's become this beautiful big huge abundant uh, plant or tree or whatever it is full of beautiful golden coins so abundant if you build yourself up what's going to be inside yourself is inner abundance inner strength in a um, you know in a love all of that kind of thing and then by the time you've built yourself up then you'll be ready to face all of these fresh obstacles in 2019 including this person in the six of cups because there is going to be a reconciliation some kind of thing with them but you're going to be ready by that time you're going to be full abundant strong all of those things you'll have your barriers up and you'll have that strength inside of you that's what i'm seeing so aquarius i hope this resonated but as you know general readings can't always resonate with everyone but again if you like this reading please like please subscribe leave a comment if you would like to thank you so 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 much for watching